Exposure to lead can cause harmful health impacts. As long as there are lead sources, like lead pipes, in our communities, there will be risks to our children. Reducing lead exposure is a priority for EPA and our partners at state and local levels. There are several ways exposure to lead can happen. In addition to drinking water, exposure can happen from old peeling lead paint and lead contaminated soil and dust. In June 1986, drinking water pipes that were not lead free were banned. But before that time, lead was used in the pipes that connect homes to the water main in the street. These pipes can be expensive to replace. And what many don't know is that homeowners are often partially responsible for them. Parts of the pipes are on public property because they're under the street. And parts of the pipes are on private property where they connect to homes. In most cases, water pipes that are on private property are the homeowner's responsibility. Replacing the entire lead pipe is a critical step to helping reduce potential lead exposure through drinking water. And it's important for all of us to be thinking creatively about how to make replacing them more practical for municipalities and homeowners and safe for our families. The cities of North Providence, Rhode Island and Claremont, New Hampshire are two communities using creative solutions to get the lead out of their drinking water. A few years back when I read all of what was happening in Flint, Michigan, I thought that um, it would be the right thing to um, you know, do a little investigating as to um, what their cause was, um, what happened there, and um, then talk with the individuals at Providence Water here. And I um, thought that if we identified you know, those lead pipe connections, that uh, maybe we could uh, seek some funding and try to help out some of the home homeowners. There is no safe uh, level of lead that's um, been documented many, many times to the science and, and scientific material. So if we are really committed to prevention of childhood lead poisoning, the best approach is to remove it completely from the water distribution system. Fortunately for Claremont, we have excellent historical records with regard to our water distribution system, and we've used that as the foundation for identifying those pipes that may be lead-lined. Claremont started a program to help offset lead pipe replacement costs for homeowners by using city staff to pull out the pipes, saving homeowners thousands of dollars. North Providence received community development block grant funding from HUD to replace privately owned lead pipes. Working with their water utility, North Providence learned the locations of the lead pipes and then the city started reaching out to their residents. We had a, a, a very, very well attended meeting at one of the schools and um, explained to er, uh, everyone how we could help them if they applied. And um, we notified those people that had a lead pipe connection. Providence Water has all that on record. So we visited those people um, they had to meet the right criteria, and we've replaced some 70 services so far. So through Operation Get the Lead Out, we're committed to removing the barriers. The only thing that the homeowner has to do is pay for the plumber to have the service line once it's um, installed, connected to the home. The key to our success in Claremont has been collaboration. We can't do it alone. You need both the leadership in the community to be on board, but you need the public to be on board so that they will be receptive to accessing all of these tools that we are trying to offer to address the situation in their homes and in their water systems. You, you read, you know, some of the uh, um, health issues that lead could cause, and my concern is longevity for the quality of drinking water for the children. So at least now those properties that we're, we're addressing, those children, their children, and their children will never ever have to worry about their drinking water. We hope that focusing on successful lead pipe replacement cases demonstrated by North Providence and Claremont will help spark some ideas for other communities to reduce lead exposure from drinking water. And we can all work together towards getting the lead out of drinking water.